Good morning and welcome back to another art lesson. Today we are going to be starting something new. Last time you guys were working on optical illusions and I thought you did an awesome job. So I thought we could do a second optical illusion project. So what you're going to need is a blank sheet of white paper, a pencil, a black marker, colored pencils, and regular markers. If you don't have some of these supplies, just use what you have and just try your best, okay? If you don't have colored pencils, then you can use crayon for that part. You are also going to start with a pencil. I am going to start with a Sharpie just so you can see my drawing a little bit better. Okay, so your paper needs to be going vertical position, portrait position, so it should be the tall way. I'm going to go to the top of my page and I'm going to draw four wavy vertical lines. Vertical is up and down. So there's my first one. There's two. There's three. And then there's four. These lines should not touch each other. Okay, you need to spread them out. Now I'm going to draw a straight line across the center. Okay, once you have that done, you're just going to start over here on the first column and you're going to draw a curved line that goes up. Okay, a curved line that goes up. And you're just going to continue that all the way across. These lines do not touch each other. Spread them out a little bit. Not too far apart though. There we go. And then once you get to the bottom, your line's going to curve the other way. Okay. But this time my lines are curving up. There we go. Okay, then I'm going to go to my second column and I'm going to do the same thing. These lines curve up. Looks like I can maybe fit maybe a tiny little line right there. there go. And then I'm gonna do the same thing down here below, except my lines curve the other way. go and you're just going to do that on all of those pieces once you have every section done then you are going to choose just some of your favorite colors and i'm going to start at the top and i'm just going to do a pattern in each of these rows so it's going to go marker white space marker white space And you want that same color all the way to the end. So don't switch colors halfway through.
and you're just going to continue all the way down to the bottom of the page. Once you have that done, in the white spaces, you are going to choose the matching colored colored pencil. And you're just going to very lightly color in those white spaces. And this is where if you don't have colored pencils, you can just use crayon and just press lightly. No, there's a tiny bit of a glare here on my desk, so I'll kind of hold it up so you can see it a little bit better. There you go. And you're just going to do that all the way. Then once you're done with that row, then you can choose a new color. For your next column. You can choose whichever colors you want. I just don't want them to all be the same. Okay, I want you to switch it up. So I don't want all of your columns to be orange. If you want to do like a pattern of like orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, that's fine. Maybe you want all the rows to be a different color. It's up to you. Okay, and then I'm not going to go all the way down. I'll stop there. And then I'll choose the matching colored pencil. And it doesn't have to be exact, just close. And then again, you would just go all the way to the bottom. So each row is going to be a new color. Remember that you are starting with pencil and then tracing with a black marker and then choosing colors for your vertical rows. Once you're done and this whole sheet has been colored in, take a photo of it, upload it into our Google Classroom so that I can grade it and give you some feedback and hang on to it, do not lose it. Because if I have feedback for you and you need to go back and fix something, I don't want you to say, oh, I threw it away or I lost it, okay? So hang on to it. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. Good luck. If you have any questions, just email me. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.